In this video, a multidisciplinary team from Mount Sinai Health System in New York City discusses benefits of liquid biopsies in stage four non-small cell lung cancer. How are you using liquid biopsies in your practice? In your opinion, what are the benefits? If the, there is no tissue or the tissue is insufficient, then we recommend it in the ISLC CAP AMP guidelines for molecular testing that we use liquid biopsy. And liquid biopsy is absolutely justified in uh, those cases. And liquid biopsy, the result comes back quickly. It is a quicker turnaround time than tissue assays. And in my practice, even if we do have tissue, oftentimes we'll send for the liquid biopsy in parallel because as Dr. Hirsch mentioned, um, oftentimes we'll get back that data first. And if we do find an EGFR mutation, for instance, we can go ahead and start the process of ordering the TKI, getting insurance authorization. And it's nice to have the confirmatory data from the, the, the tissue. A lot of us are doing upfront plasma testing uh, when we have a high suspicion of an actual mutation or if we expect a, a small sample. Um, but for those who don't get upfront plasma testing, I think when I get a QNS sample back and I haven't done that, I'll start planning a repeat biopsy while also sending out the plasma. Um, and then if that doesn't come back with something sufficient, you already have your biopsy, rebiopsy planned. It's not uncommon to get QNS with uh, the biomarker testing on the tissue because oftentimes we'll be getting a diagnosis based on the fine needle aspirate the cell block will be insufficient. We maybe will get a pd one but we won't have enough um, to send for um, sequencing. And so that's really when we're using liquid biopsies. And it's one of the reasons why I mentioned I oftentimes will order the liquid biopsy in parallel so that we'll have all the information as soon as possible. The uh, specificity of uh, liquid biopsy is very high, mm -hmm. meaning if you are positive in the plasma, you are almost 100% sure it is also in the tissue. The problem is if you are negative in the, in the plasma, then uh, you, don't, you don't know uh, for sure what the tissue shows. So the sensitivity is lower, but the specificity is almost 100%. So it is absolutely uh, justified to start treatment based on a positive mutation response from the plasma. Look for other episodes from TOPS that highlight practical perspectives in managing non-small cell lung cancer.